Okay, I've done a little more investigation on connectors. So let's go ahead and open some flaps. There we go. Show shared flaps. All right, so let's open the basic button bar. There we go. Well, here's a fun thing we can do. We can create a button maker, drag something into it. That's not quite how to do it. Let's first do this. Drag it in, drag something into it, then create another button maker. Drag it in, drag something else into it, grab another button maker, drag it in, oh, let's drag something else into it, like, oh, a polygon. Now let's grab another button maker. Button maker, button maker, and now we can grab a star and put it in. First, let's do this again. Let's grab a button maker, put it in. Grab a star, put it in. Grab another button maker, put it in. Slider and put it in. And now we have this whole button bar thingy. Let's get rid of these. And we can drag out a little star, drag out a little triangle, drag out a connector, connect one in there and one in there. And move it around. Now let's add another button maker. Kirby arrow, drag out another star, drag out a Kirby arrow, put it there, and there, and make it Kirby. Isn't this cool? And then we can say we want it to be a title. Or we can have a smart label. Let's grab another button maker, put it there. Grab a smart label. And now when we put a smart label on something, it's going to move around. And a label. associated with a given object of any arbitrary kind. You get the idea. It's pretty cool. And of course there's a few predefined things like you can have a set of things you can drag in like this. different kind of widget, or we can have a scrolled state. Let's see if we can nest these. Let's put this one in this one. Will this work? Yes, it will. So now we have thingies within thingies.
growable. And you can probably nest again. So you get the idea. These are intelligent drawing things. They don't have any behavior, as far as I can tell, except that they interrelate with each other. But you can also take one of these little thingies and apply it to, say, a window, and then to another window. And they'll stay connected. Now you get the idea. It's a very handy little thing to create little ad hoc relationships. I would expect that there's a way of programming the relationship so you could type something in here and have an output put here like some of the more sophisticated packages. But I haven't found it yet. But even this right here is pretty spiffy. It's just a free little package you can download for Squeak.